ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark London, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, new iPhone iOS 16, and how ocean farming makes cows less gassy. But first, two, one. Throttle back, and continue on up to space. That's Blue Origin blasting off from West Texas. Aerodynamic stress on the vehicle is at its maximum. But now Jeff Bezos' space firm and the FAA are investigating how a rocket's booster exploded and failed after launching on the 23rd New Shepard mission, which had aimed to send NASA experiments to the edge of space to float for a few minutes in microgravity. This was unplanned and we don't have any details yet, but our crew capsule was able to escape successfully. We'll follow its progress through landing. What do we know? About five miles above ground, the New Shepard booster's engines flared and triggered the capsule's abort motor mechanism to parachute it back to Earth intact while the booster itself crash-landed. The fleet is grounded for now, but Blue Origin says the pod jettisoning system worked as designed. But luckily there were no humans aboard the capsule on this mission. Now, iPhone 8 users and newer... Apple's iOS 16 has launched with a slew of new features including unsend messages and a lockdown mode. Along with the usual behind the scenes security updates, there's pretty interesting features that include door detection for visually impaired people to be guided by the camera to work out how far away things are. And lockdown mode raises phone security to the highest possible level by restricting the operating system and apps to hopefully protect the phone's owner from attacks. It might sound like a farming technique from the dystopian 90s Kevin Costner movie Waterworld, but could what's known as aquaculture help save the planet? Now, one London private equity firm has received the equivalent of over £8.5 million from the Constitutional Reserve Fund of Monaco to invest in ocean-based tech and sustainability projects. One of the biggest problems with the ocean is overfishing. It's, you know, one of the greatest threats to the health of the ocean and therefore to humanity's survival. That's Chris Goral Barnes, co-founder. So how do their startups help fight overfishing? Using artificial intelligence, using cameras, using data to be able to really monitor exactly where a vessel is and to monitor what it's caught and how it's caught it. And then being able to use blockchain to be able to trace that fish literally from net or rod all the way through to plate. And there's some pretty interesting uses for seaweed. Seaweed can also sequester carbon, so it can you know protect the ocean, the biodiversity, and actually sequester carbon. And there's even a species of seaweed that if you put that into animal feed, so say you put 1% of this particular type of seaweed into an animal feed, it can reduce the methane emissions of cattle by 99%. Next. A Twitter whistleblower will testify at Congress over claims the social network is hiding security and privacy vulnerabilities that put users at risk. It follows claims the platform was not doing enough to protect users' private information, which is something the company strongly denies. Peter Zatko was Twitter's head of security from November 2020 until being fired in January this year over what the company calls poor performance and now accuses him of peddling a false narrative about the alleged risks. Now, shares in Nintendo jumped 5% after the Japanese gaming company reported record domestic launch sales for its shooter Splatoon 3 on the Switch console. The latest Splatoon title sold more than 3.45 million units in the three days following its launch. That exceeds launch sales of games such as Animal Crossing New Horizons and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Coming up... Was Facebook's top-secret VR headset really left in a hotel room? Plus, the courtship rhythm of the Hayax. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? NASA astronomers have combined data from the Chandra X-ray Observatory, Hubble Space Telescope and its retired Spitzer Space Telescope to try and work out how long ago a star inside a supernova exploded. The technique allows scientists to essentially rewind the phenomenon to learn more about the speed of the explosion. The supernova remnant is located in a small galaxy 160,000 light years from Earth, while the blast is calculated to have been at 5.5 million miles per hour. The Hyrax is a little furry mammal found in Africa in the Middle East, and now research is shedding new lights on the rhythm the males produce during courtship. 
a behavioural study published in the Journal of Animal Ecology links successful reproduction of male rock hyraxes to how well they can maintain the ability to maintain rhythm during courtship songs. That was recorded by Dr Lee Corrin who co-authored the Hyrax study with Dr Ellie Geffen. According to the research by the University of Constance and the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behaviour, which was undertaken in Israel, the singing frequency and rhythm could be seen as indicators of the quality of potential mates. And finally, it's like a scene from the comedy Peep Show. Apparently a forgetful tech bro leaves a top secret VR headset in a Mexico hotel room and of course a worker then finds it and posts the details online. Apparently images and video of Facebook's Meta Quest Pro VR headset have surfaced and include showing a black headset and controller loop for users to completely cut themselves off from actual reality. So is it all a very convenient leaking ahead of Meta boss Mark Zuckerberg revealing more info about its VR and AR plans at a conference next month? You might very well think that, but we couldn't possibly comment, and neither is Meta. We've asked them. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the leader from the Evening Standard here in London. We'll be back on Tuesday at 1pm. See you then.